There are two changes to the Rangers team after Wednesday's one-all draw at Aberdeen. There's no Gabriel Amato, and Charlie Miller is back on the bench. The playmaker in the midfield is Derek Ferguson. He's not just lining up against his old team, he's in direct opposition to his young brother, 20-year-old Barry Ferguson. He now gets the match underway. Dunfermline in their all-purple strip. And Rangers wearing change colours as well. Immediately on the ball, Huxford and now Scott Thompson. Dunfermline who've drawn their last five games, the last four all one all. Long ball into the area from Craig Ireland, that's Craig Moore's header, touched away by Porini. Derek Ferguson exchanging passes with Scott McCulloch, very tight in the midfield area. Rod Wallace for Barry Ferguson. Cut out by Squires. The loose ball picked up by Britton. Stopped in his tracks by Giovanni van Bronckhorst. That's for Johansson. He's got pace. Jonathan Johansson. And saved by Lee Butler. Now Alberts. It's through the middle for Johansson. This is a great chance for the opening goal. And Jonathan Johansson takes it. 12 minutes gone. Rangers in front. And that will do Jonathan Johansson a whole lot of good. His third goal of the season. The first two came against Shelbourne in Europe. But he needs a boost to his confidence, and this might just be it. He saw the whites of Lee Butler's eyes, and he placed the shot perfectly away from the keeper. Good finishing, 1-0 Rangers. And there's a foul, brother on brother. And he wasn't pleased. Derek Ferguson flighted in. Craig Ireland! What a save! Lionel Chabonnier. Craig Ireland can hardly believe it. And Chabonnier takes over where he left off last Sunday against Celtic when he denied Henrik Larsson that every bit is good. Tremendous reactions from the Frenchman. And finally nodded away by Amoruso. It's Ferguson. And it's close. So looked like he lost it, won it back, and what a good tackle by Scott McCulloch. Now Perini, McCulloch again. Gattuso. Scott McCulloch stomping into the tackle there. That looked dangerous from the Dunfermline defender. And I think he's a bit fortunate here to escape because this looked like a pretty dangerous attempt at getting the ball. McCulloch, lucky there not to see a yellow card. Barry Ferguson with Derek at his back. Albert, Amoruso, Vidmar, Johansson down the line. Vidmar again, good run by Georges Albert. He's onside, it's promising here, and it's too much for Van Bronckhorst. Wallace to Barry Ferguson. Tony Vidmar, shaping up for the shot. Beaten away by Butler, he was well positioned. Good throw from the keeper. Although asking an awful lot of Gattuso. And you know Gattuso got the ball, justified in going for it. Rod Wallace. Good run by Vidmar. What can Tony Vidmar do here? Saved by Lee Butler. And knocked away by Squires. to Wallace. That's for Jonathan Johansson, he's onside. And it's a poor effort from Johansson. He knows it. Good play from Corini, evading the Miller challenge. Now Barry Ferguson! That's number two! Brilliant from Ferguson! Second goal of the season for the 20-year-old. And that's no more than the game's outstanding performer deserves. Perini was in at the start of it. A neat flip from Wallace and surging onto it came Barry Ferguson. He's worth putting the ball in front of Hamish French. Good play from French. First away from Vidmar, then Amaruso. The cutback. Falls from Mark Miller. 
charged down by Vino Gattuso. Then Firmland claimed for a penalty. Pulling for Mark Miller. And here was the shot charged down by Gattuso. Gattolini. Johansson. Trying to hold off Trig Ireland. Free kick quickly taken. Here's Gattuso. And now Alberts. Saved by Butler. A one-handed stop. That was pure instinct as George Alberts looked as if he was set to make it three. Thompson again. That's for Andy Smith. And here's Huxford. Charge down. Chance for Derek Ferguson. Blocked again. Desperate defending by Rangers. And Bronkhorst with the corner. Kick Amoruso's header. Just too high. Andy Smith for Stuart Petrie. Hamish French is in the middle. And beyond him is Huxford. Richard Huxford is round Chabonnier. What a waste. And a great opportunity there for Dunfermline to pull a goal back. Good play from Petrie. The Miller free kick, now got away by Vidmar. Alberts. It's only Vidmar's off and running. Rod Wallace is all he's got to aim at at the moment. In is coming Ian Ferguson. And now Reno Gattuso for Rod Wallace. And Wallace again! In comes the Miller corner kick, that's Ireland. Nodded across goal, nobody there for Dunfermline. Opportunities here on the break for Rangers, it's Barry Ferguson. Lofted in for Rod Wallace, and the first touch lets him down badly. Still has it though, Butler could still be in trouble. Back for Alberts! Alberts to Vidmar. Greg Shields is sticking with it. Rangers pushing the ball around. In these closing minutes. Van Bronckhorst, that's a good pass for Vidmar, and Rod Wallace can't quite get there. Superb play from Rangers. It's Rosenthal on, and it's Rod Wallace off. Alberts, well hit, and not far away. As this cannonball effort came in from Alberts. Full time at East End Park. And Dunfermline comprehensively beaten by Rangers. Rangers comfortably cruising through to the three points. And in the battle of the Fergusons, it was Barry who came out on top. And it was his goal earlier in the second half which sealed the points for Rangers on top of Jonathan Johansson's efforts for Rangers in the first half. So these Rangers supporters head home happy. Their team very much worth the three points. And they increase their position at the top of the table. And Fermland's best effort, a set-piece effort, Craig Ireland's header saved by Lionel Chabonnier in the first half. And in the second half, Huxford rounded Chabonnier, but couldn't do much with it. A disappointing 90 minutes for the home team.